In this video, you'll see how to manage and deploy application configurations with AWS App Config. With this feature, you can deploy changes across a set of targets quickly, reduce errors in configuration changes, and control deployment of changes across your applications. AWS App Config is a capability of AWS Systems Manager used to simplify the administration of applications at scale by deploying configuration changes from a central location. App Config supports controlled deployments to applications of any size and includes built in validation checks and monitoring. Before we create a new configuration with App Config, let's review a few typical components you'll use. You can use App Config with applications hosted on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances, AWS Lambda, containers, mobile applications, or IoT devices. For the purposes of this example, a sample Lambda application is already running. This application has already been configured to retrieve configuration updates from AppConfig. A second Lambda function has also been created to serve as a validator. We'll come back to this later. For now, let's navigate to AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM, to see what is needed to minimize risks using AWS AppConfig. You can configure AppConfig to roll back to a previous version of a configuration in response to one or more Amazon CloudWatch alarms. To do so, you must specify an IAM role, such as the one shown here. Let's drill down. This role allows AppConfig to monitor CloudWatch alarms even if those alarms weren't created in the current AWS account. Let's take a closer look at the policy that grants this permission. Next, let's take a look at the trust relationships for this role. AppConfig requires a trust relationship that allows it to assume the role and call the CloudWatch Describe Alarms API action. As you can see, this trust relationship has already been added to the role. Next, let's navigate to the CloudWatch Management Console to examine the alarm itself. This CloudWatch alarm has been configured to monitor the API service for our sample application and ensure it is healthy. Now that we've reviewed the prerequisites, let's return to AWS Systems Manager to create a new configuration in AppConfig. First, provide a name for the application. For AWS AppConfig, an application is a logical unit of code that provides capabilities for your users. For example, an application can be a microservice that runs on EC2 instances, a mobile application installed by users, a serverless application using Amazon API Gateway and AWS Lambda, or any system you run on behalf of others. Create the application. For each app config application, you can define one or more environments. An environment is a logical deployment group of app config targets, such as applications in a beta or production environment. You can also define environments for application subcomponents, such as the web, mobile, and backend components for your application. Specify a name for this environment. In the Monitors section, you can configure Amazon CloudWatch alarms for each environment. The system monitors alarms during a configuration deployment. If an alarm is triggered, the system rolls back the configuration, reducing the risk of errors caused by invalid configurations. Let's specify the role we looked at earlier that has permission to connect to CloudWatch alarms. Next, specify the name of the CloudWatch alarm to monitor. Note that you can add multiple alarms to monitor different aspects of your environment, if desired. Create the environment. Next, return to the application screen and create a configuration profile. A configuration profile enables AWS App Config to access your configuration in its stored location. First, provide a name for the configuration profile. Next, select the source of your configuration data. You can use an App Config hosted configuration version, Amazon Simple Storage Service S3 object. Systems Manager, SSM document, or Systems Manager parameter. In this case, let's select an S3 object for the configuration source. Let's navigate to the S3 Management Console to locate the configuration file. Copy the path of this file and return to App Config. Now paste the copied path as the configuration source. Proceed to the next step to add a validator to the configuration profile. Validators can be built using a JSON schema 
or AWS Lambda function. For the purposes of this guide, select AWS Lambda as the validator type. Next, we need to specify the Lambda function validator to use. Let's navigate to the Lambda functions page. Let's take a closer look at this validator. A validator provides a syntactic or semantic check to ensure that the configuration you want to deploy works as intended. The configuration deployment or update can only proceed when the configuration data is valid. Let's take a look at this validator's permissions. In order for AppConfig to invoke the Lambda validator, you must first create a resource-based policy to specifically allow it. You can do this through the AWS Command Line Interface, or CLI. Add the permission using the AWS Lambda Add Permission command. Now let's return to the validator and refresh the page. As you can see, the resource-based policy is now attached to the Lambda function for the validator. With that completed, let's go back and finish creating the configuration profile. Let's choose the validator we just worked with. This validator will be used to test and approve the configuration file before it is deployed. Create the profile. Now we are ready to start the deployment. Select the environment to deploy to. Let's specify the environment we created. Next, choose or create a deployment strategy for this application configuration. Before we do that, let's quickly review the process for creating a deployment strategy. Here, you can customize your deployment strategy by choosing your deployment type, step percentage, deployment, and bake time. For the purposes of this example, we'll use a deployment strategy that has already been configured. This strategy processes the deployment exponentially using a 10% growth factor over 20 minutes. AppConfig monitors for Amazon CloudWatch alarms for 10 minutes. If no alarms are received in this time, the deployment is complete. If an alarm is triggered, AppConfig rolls back the deployment. Now let's start the deployment. During a configuration deployment, AppConfig monitors the application to ensure that the deployment is successful. If the system encounters an error, AppConfig rolls back the change to minimize impact for your application users. Notice that the deployment was stopped due to a CloudWatch alarm and the configuration was rolled back. Let's navigate to the CloudWatch Management Console to investigate. As you can see, the alarm monitoring our application has been triggered. Let's skip forward in time to when we have resolved the source of this alarm in our application and refresh the page. Now the alarm state is OK, so let's return to Systems Manager and try the configuration deployment again. This time, the configuration deployment proceeds smoothly, with the percentage of callers targeted increasing by 20% at each interval. Finally, the configuration deployment finishes baking, and its state is marked as complete. The configuration profile is now fully deployed and available to all callers of the application. To take advantage of a deployed configuration profile, you must configure your application to pull for configuration updates by using the Get Configuration API action, as described in the technical documentation. Please note that AWS AppConfig uses the value of the client configuration version parameter to identify the configuration version on your clients, and that if you don't send this parameter with each call to the Get Configuration API, a charge will occur each time your clients receive a configuration. To avoid excessive charges, it's recommended that the client configuration version value be included with every call to the Get Configuration API, and that this value is saved on your clients. You've just seen how to manage and deploy application configurations with AWS AppConfig. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.